Now today in this video guys, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how you guys can boost your FPS in Roblox. This is going to be showing you guys the best steps that you guys need to get the maximum FPS guaranteed. So yeah, enough yapping. Let's get straight into the video. Now the first thing you guys actually want to do, okay, you guys want to just go straight to your game bar settings. Now if you guys use game bar, you guys can literally just keep it on. If you guys use, if you guys use like the recording or the microphone or whatever option here, if you guys use this, you guys don't have to turn this off, but you guys should turn it off because it is using a lot of performance and there's better recorders out there okay now make sure this is on too because everyone normally has this on okay it just optimizes your windows for pc play and then if we go to captures mine is disabled but should be an option here that actually allows you to disable your clip now another thing we're actually going to do next now you guys want to switch up storage sense. now you could just switch up storage settings okay and then just open it up now you're going to see this thing called storage sense now what storage sense actually does so if you have this bad boy on it's going to basically automatically delete your files for you so you guys don't have to do it yourself you guys can choose if you want it 30 days 14 days or every day now the thing about this it actually does need to use a little bit a little bit of your resources to check through your files every single 14 days day or just whatever you put it to now this is actually good for cleaning up your pc if you guys do have a lot of if you guys have a lot of low disk space then i would have this on but if you're on like a low end pc with this space i wouldn't have this on basically now what we're going to be searching up next is actually power and sleep okay now we're going to go to additional power settings okay this is the same for windows 11 if you guys are on it now i have chris titus ultimate plan i'll actually be showing you guys that later in the video but you guys want to click show additional plans okay they're going to see these two options right here you're going to see power saver and you're going to see high performance now high performance you will get the maximum performance okay but it will be using more energy so more power at your pc and power saver just saves energy but it's going to reduce your pc's performance so whatever one is best for you guys you guys can actually pick or you guys can just keep it on balance now, if you guys actually want the ultimate power plan okay you guys are going to watch through the whole entire video so i can show you guys it okay you guys want to just search up core and then you're gonna see core isolation now when you guys actually open this up you're gonna see core isolation and memory memory integrity so basically what this is okay now i have mine off because it gives you more fps but the only bad thing about it having it off is it, re it reduces your protection from malware and stuff like that if you know that you're not like the type of person that go click random links and download a bunch of malware randomly then you guys could turn this off but i recommend it on just so you guys stay safe pc manager okay the link will be in the description now if now it's kind of limited in countries i don't Know what countries it's limited into i know it works for canada the states the uk and then this is like the legal discriminant the seller only has a certified that only offers products and services apply with the eu laws yeah try to download this up if it's actually not even available there is another way to download it if you guys just search up pc manager but just make sure you guys are not downloading a virus before we actually get back into the video guys i need to make sure that you guys always stay safe and protected okay so yeah on what malware bytes actually does it actually protects you guys really a lot as you guys can see they have some rewards here and malware bytes is just mostly a virus scanner so it will always guys keep you guys protected you guys can also download it on the apple store google play store so you guys can have it on your phone while having it on your pc and you can just have it on multiple devices so yeah guys make sure you guys go check out malware bytes you guys can secure your devices with the number one malware remover and protection software i use this myself all the time when i'm downloading things because i don't want to get a virus all right now this is actually what malware bytes looks like when we open them up okay now you guys get a free 14 day trial okay you guys can actually buy it up too if you guys want to but actually this is really good okay so we have a scanner we have detection history real-time detection i think you guys will need a premium option for this one okay you guys can actually put your digital footprint in here and it will literally tell you guys where you guys are at and all that bro it's actually crazy and then we have a privacy control so these are just controlling all your privacies your window privacies i love 3d app your advertising ids and whatever whatever if you go down over here these are our experimental tools okay so you guys want to click continue create a restore point now me i'm just gonna say no because i want to show you guys real quick we have the windows firewall control okay we have startup applications and we have system tweaks now this is for windows 11 so our windows 10 users cannot use this one but overall it's really nice okay it's a really cool design it's looking good let's get right back into the video so now it's gonna open up like this i'm not gonna actually have mine on automatic startup but you guys want to click get started so once it actually opens up now you guys are going to see this thing called pc boost is memory usage and temporary files so when you click boost your memory usage is going to go down let me actually open up my taskbar and show you guys what it's going to be looking like so okay we got them both by side by side okay we got our memory and then we got our memory okay so we're going to click boost so you guys can actually see how it goes down 
so discord always goes down first okay that's the thing i like you guys can actually get discord all removed and look at it bro just perfect still going down by the way so yeah it looks like it kind of stopped around like 26 27 that's not kind of bad now on this it's going up on this it slowly goes up i guess because i do have a different speed i'm pretty sure i forget where to check it but we're actually not going to be done with task manager so we're actually going to close our pc manager real quick go back to our task manager okay we're going to go to startup now you guys are going to see all these apps now you're going to you guys are going to see a bunch of startup apps okay you're going to see your startup apps okay you got steam your microsoft your roblox or whatever you guys got going on and what you guys all all you guys want to do is literally just disable them okay because we don't need all of the startup apps i understand that you guys might not like setting up your apps on your own but it's actually way quicker than letting these apps start up because they all have a little bit of delay and a time on. doing is using the ultimate windows utility tool by chris titus you guys can actually search him up if you guys think there's a virus or fake or anything he's actually a youtuber himself so yeah that's good so we're here we have the actual code that we're going to use so what you guys want to do you guys want to copy this okay and you guys want to open up your powershell i said powershell uh you guys want to open up your powershell go to run as administrator okay it's gonna open up paste in the code and click enter then it should like show that once you did it bro i always use this every single time i'm on a fresh startup if i just reset my pc or something like i literally just did but so you guys can actually have an install page where you guys can download browsers communications development document games microsoft tools everything bro pro tools and utilities bro they have everything bro i'm gonna click standard once you guys click standard these are gonna be all the standard tweaks if you guys actually want to go through it yourself you guys can get clear and then just literally click but you always want to create a restore point just because if anything like happens on your pc bro you got to go back bro you can't break your pc <laughs> so what we're gonna do we're gonna click standard after we click standard we're gonna get all these options now because i already did this before i'm actually gonna just turn off these options and then we're gonna go down to advanced now there's a lot of advanced but listen before we even get into this okay you gotta make sure you know your pc well so you don't break your pc now the ones that i use personally the ones that i personally use i use disable background app i use disable microsoft copilot i use block all razor softwares now if you have a razor software bro do not click this option because it will probably delete or mess up your pc with your razor stuff like your razor mouse or whatever do edge debloat brave debloat i don't even have it disable edge it, it works but it doesn't work so i won't even try it yeah so i normally just keep these options on but the only fact that i will have these on is if i have it downloaded but i don't have it downloaded so we don't really need to worry about that and then all you guys want to do is going to click this performance plans right here and it's going to say add and activate ultimate performance profile you guys want to just do that and it will do the power and sleep option that we did earlier automatically and then when you guys click run tweaks going to you guys as soon as you guys click run tweak you guys can actually just pull up this thing and it'll show you what is going on in the background okay it's showing you all the tweaks so yeah that's actually gonna wrap up today's video guys i really hope you guys did enjoy today's video okay i hope you guys learned something new I hope you guys got that high fps possible in roblox okay now join up my discord if you guys have any support issues support questions or just anything and just always let me know me and my support team are always ready to help you guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video once again because guys you know how long it took me to edit this seven years bro seven years but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace peace